This is Life in the 1900s Newspapers, where I read old newspapers to you. Today's newspaper is from the 1930s. Among other things, the 1930s were known for their pre-code movies. What was pre-code, you may ask? Well, that was when the movies weren't regulated by any standard of code. In other words, you could film just about anything. Take a look. It may be hard to believe, but the stately, dignified Barbara Stanwyck from the Big Valley was one of the most prolific pre-code actresses. to blame. My father, a swell start you gave me. Ever since I was 14, what's it been? Nothing but men, dirty, rotten men, and you're lower than any of them. I'll hate you as long as I live. If Fuzzy Wuzzy really wants to give me something, he could put a few more pennies in my bank account. My dear, ask me something difficult. Uh... Uh. Oh, excuse me. My hands shake so when I'm around you. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video for a special about Barbara Stanwyck. But right now, Barbara says, let's start reading the paper. The issue for today is the Henderson Daily News, hometown of the world's greatest oil field, Henderson, Texas, dated June 20th, 1935. Chicago, June 21st. William Larson pawned his wife's teeth for money to buy gin. At least, that is what the wife, Martha Larson, or Larthen, without the teeth, told Judge Green. Ha, 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 said William. I didn't pawn her teeth. I've got him right here. It's a joke on Martha. You're fine two hundred dollars. Laugh that off, said the judge. Play stressed for children, New York. National Children's Day will be observed June 15th in 200 cities to focus attention on play facilities as necessities of normal child development and insurance against juvenile delinquency. Playthings are vital educational tools which every child requires for proper physical, mental, social, and moral development. Doll parades, playgrounds, athletic contests, roller skates, scooter, and toy boat races, as well as building and drawing competitions, will be held in various communities by mayors proclaiming speeches and special meetings of the PTA. Plans will be launched to provide additional play space and to collect playthings so that underprivileged children will have an equal opportunity to develop their health. Ooh, get your Shirley Temple framed photographic reproduction, 29 cents, 
with tube of Nyla Magnesia or Neceptol toothpaste. Every little girl will want one of these beautifully framed reproductions. They may be seen on display at Pals Theater Lobby in our show window or booth inside the store. Supply limited, better hurry. When the 1935's codes for the movies became active, Innocent Shirley Temple became the new megastar. Smart little girl. Now go on, cut me loose. Are you playing the game too? Of course I am. Your old man tied me up so I couldn't peek. Let's you and me fool him. You think that would be fair? Why, sure it would. It'll, it'll be a big joke and we'll all bust laughing. Now go on, get something and cut me loose. Wait a minute, you cut my head off. That's all right. <laughs> well, now look out. In the 1930s, they liked to give away glassware. Let me know in the comments below if you have any of these iced tea glasses in your cupboard. Free, these attractive iced tea glasses, Lipton's Tea. One free with a fourth a pound, 21 cents. Two free with half a pound, 41 cents. Four free with one pound of Lipton's tea, 77 cents. Prince Rupert, British Columbia. Here's a hair razor that should hold tall storytellers, especially if they are chicken razors for a while. Mrs. C. Hendrickser, wife of a fishing boat skipper, reports she has a rooster that started to crow when it was six days old. It stood up in its basket and greeted the sun by crowing seven times, she said. Hmm, this is interesting. Samuel Clemens was not the original Mark Twain? Captain Isaiah Sellers first used the name and Clemens adopted it after Sellers died. New business place built for colored. A brick building to house a sandwich shop, barber shop, and beauty parlor for colored people has been built behind the Liberty Hotel between North Marshall and North High Streets. The place was constructed by Jesse Alford to take the place of the old frame building nearby. Stole Trailer House Tires, Dallas. R.H. Eds is a sound sleeper, so sound in fact that he didn't wake up when thieves removed all the tires and rims from a trailer house in which he was touring through the South. Rarely do movie fans get the chance to see how their film favorites act when they're not before the camera, but not so with a candid cameraman. Tiptoeing about the movie studios, he managed to snap charming little Virginia Welder left biting into a big, luscious ice cream cone. W.C. Field Center combating his insomnia by snoozing in the noonday sun. And bespeckled George Burns at right, bending over to learn what wifey Gracie Allen has to offer in the way of liquid refreshment. And now for the amazing Barbara Stanwyck. She was born in Brooklyn, New York and christened Ruby Stevens. The youngest of five children, 
She was orphaned by the age of four. Her sister Millie worked as a chorus girl to pay foster homes for Ruby's care. Moving from family to family, an active imagination was Ruby's best friend. In 1918, vaudeville was in its heyday. When her sister landed a job in a New York review, Ruby was backstage at every show. After years of watching from the wings, she knew what she wanted. She wasted no time. Listing her sister's experience as her own, she landed her first job as a chorus girl. She was 15 years old. Soon she was on Broadway as one of 16 Keep Cool Cuties. Her first dramatic role was in The Noose. Her director told her, Ruby Stevens sounds like a burlesque queen. Clearly she was a serious actress. She became Barbara Stanwyck. In earning my pay, just by shaking this way. When crime was if you stole some dough Now that ain't so Cause if you lack a tire, it's the black Mariah mm -mm, Lady Godiva The cutest little baby face There's not another one who take your place Baby face My poor heart is jumping You sure have started something Baby face I'm up in heaven When I'm in your fond embrace I didn't need a shove Cause I just fell in love with your pretty baby Thank you. 